Hey guys, so today's video is going to be focusing all on how I create a signature on pastel matte paper. I've had a few questions about how to do this and it's understandable because the pastel matte paper can be quite a toothy surface. So it's quite difficult to get like a nice smooth looking signature on it. So I've got my commission here that I've just finished and it's always the last thing I do, my signature. So I've taken a CPR pencil by Karen Dash and I've sharpened it to a really fine point with my swordfish sharpener, but you can use any sharpener. Um, you want to pick a colour that's kind of going to accentuate the colours in your piece. So I've chosen a warm sepia because it's kind of greyish to go with the grey tones in the fur and then it's a bit warmer to go with the background. And you want to choose your positioning, so I normally do like on the bottom right hand corner or sometimes just at the bottom of the dog here. I've had, I have done an attempt at this previously and I had to go over it and disguise it because I wasn't happy with my signature attempt. So I think I might do it here actually, what do you think? No, I think I'll stick with here. So, as I said, really fine point on the pencil and it helps as well if you've got some pan pastel in the background, so I always do my backgrounds with pan pastel. So having that pigment in the tooth of the paper kind of helps to fill up the tooth and make your signature less grainy looking. So here comes the stress hormone of trying to get it right. <laughs> Using quite a light hand here. And then I'll just kind of go over some of the bits that are on like the left hand side, if you get me. So it creates some thickness in some areas. And then I'll put the year, so 22. And then normally if I've got a pan pastel background, I will then just kind of sweep across it, just to make it a little bit less in your face. Fade it down a little bit. And then maybe go back in and thicken some bits down again. And there we have it, very simple. But I think the main thing is to make sure the tooth of the paper is a little bit filled up first. And then use a really sharp coloured pencil even if you're using pastel I think. Whenever I try and do it with like a pastel pencil it just goes really grainy and I've never really been happy with how it looks so I reverted to using a coloured pencil.